Come on, YouTube. This is a, uh, not exactly sure on the year of the Kenworth, but it's a model CC925. And uh, this is a Dyco model 196 shovel. Looks like a set of Mar grapples on it. I haven't actually looked at them yet. Oh yeah, Mar grapples, Sandy, Oregon. Pretty neat. I've never seen a Dyco shovel before. Interesting set of outriggers. Shovel mount outriggers usually just come straight down. This is more like the carrier mount style. It's a heavy spec truck. The Henderson walking beam. It's got the heavy front axle on it. Our air filter up there. So I zoom out so you see. It's a big shovel. It's a very big shovel. I'm guessing it's made sometime in the early 80s. And here's the opposite side of the truck. Stack's all bent. I can tell you right now, there's the auxiliary transmission. That will be a Spicer 8341 auxiliary, Dana Spicer. That does not have the overdrive in it. Let's see if we can get up in here. Here's the see model CC925 maximum speed 56 miles an hour chassis C model 12920 gross weight 46,000 pounds serial number 72110 it's a series BX15 I had a kind of riff like this. Cool. Headliner's all ripped out of it. There's the truck. Man, this old hood's seen better days. Probably been hit with the grapples a few times. It's only held on by one hinge. 8V71. Looks like someone's done a power steering conversion on this. But I really don't know, uh, being the heavy spec. Yeah, it looks like someone's definitely done a power steering on it. No front brakes. Man, they must have had to freaking monkey that sucker in there to get her to fit. It's cool though. Love them old Detroits. I figured it had one in there because it had dual exhaust on it. Look inside the cab here. Got what I'm assuming a five and a four. Stick closest to this will be the main main box. Stick over there will be the auxiliary. Huh. Man, I ain't no crawling in there. No window either. It's got uh Steel frame, double frame rails in it. That's a heavy truck. 
Nice big Rotec on it. Well, we can try to climb up there and see what the operator's cab looks like. If it opens. No shores or bees nests in there. Oh, that's nice. Pilot controls. Foot swing. Of course, moss carpet. Nothing but the finest. It's got a, got a CB and a radio. Right on. See what the operator's view looks like. So he's down there. Tachometer. All the gauges. There's no hour meter. No, no hour meter. There's the switches for the outriggers. And here's the side of the hydraulic pumps in here on the side of this sucker. Looks like it's got a lever here for, must be a clutch to engage or disengage the hydraulic pumps. Maybe to, I really have no idea, maybe to get it fired up easier on cold mornings or something. A lot of hoses. Pretty neat. Right there, there's the far air filter. Say cold starting instructions. Huh. All right. So here we are on the counterweight. Looks like the counterweight's the fuel tank. Right there, looks like a fuel cap. Couldn't really see what this motor is through that door, looking at the hydraulic pumps, but. I'm really not sure, but definitely looks like it Cummins to me. Um, unfortunately, I really don't know enough about them. But uh, turbocharged. That exhaust manifold looks like a Cummins. But uh, I'm assuming that this is fuel and. This is probably also fuel, maybe a breather for the fuel tank. Or it could be hydraulic, but I don't think so. That's where the exhaust would come through, at least it capped it. Well, we'll wrap this video up. Sold Kenworth. Dyco shovel. It's a big girl peel rack on it. I was told it runs. I'm sure if guy probably ran a couple years ago. You see those outriggers there. Well, have a good one, guys. Be safe.